let's take an in-depth look at the SWrite software that comes pre-installed on the Android side of the panel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and launch into our SWrite whiteboarding software. And right away, you'll see that I have a tool set down here below. So one thing to note right off the bat is if I select my marker here, you'll see that I have a thin tip and a thick tip. Now that's going to refer to my stylus functionality. So each panel comes with two styluses and it's gonna have a thin tip and a thick tip. So on that thin tip side, maybe I wanna set this to a red color, for example, and on the thick side of my stylus, I want that to maybe be a black color. So now when I go ahead and use that on the thin side, I'm gonna have that red color. And then if I flip that around, I'm gonna have that black color. So that's a way you can set two separate color schemes on the stylus and be able to utilize it in that way. Next to that pen tool, if I go ahead and select that hand tool, uh, I'm gonna select multi-touch mode now that you see those five fingertips enabled. So that's going to give me that 20 points of touch control so you can actually have multiple people up here writing, erasing, interacting at the same time. All of our software recognizes what I call gesture erasing. So if I wanna go ahead and just flatten my hand, it automatically turns into an eraser for me. So that's pretty handy if I just wanna erase one certain section of my whiteboard. But then if I grab that hand tool one more time, that's gonna allow me to put it into what I call infinite canvas mode. So now I can just kind of bump that content up off the screen. Uh, so let's say I'm taking a bullet point list of notes in class or a meeting, start to run out of room. I can just use all five fingers bump that content right up off the screen and just continue on with my list. Now you'll notice when I use my fingertip, it's always gonna revert back to that color uh, that ties into that thick side of the stylus with that. The next tool is our lasso or selection tool. So if I just wanna select a certain section, uh, maybe duplicate something, I can select that lasso tool and just lasso a certain section. And then now that's going to allow me, say for example, uh, I wanna go ahead and duplicate that. So I can go ahead and be able to copy or paste and duplicate that same kind of content with that. Uh, and that's kind of handy if I'm just repeating multiple steps or anything with that as well. The next tool, this four box tool, that's going to allow me to have some selections where I can import videos, I can import pictures, uh, I can even go into split screen writing mode. So say for example, I have two students up here at the same time and we're working on some math problems or any kind of content like that. So over here on one side, I can maybe choose that this is the red team and over here, maybe we got the yellow team. So again, that's going to allow me to uh, have multiple colors uh, where I can work independently from one another uh, and the colors are not gonna spill into each one of these zones or anything like that. So in order to clear this out, all I have to do is just kind of swipe, clear that out, kind of that dry erase board effect. So that's a nice way that I can be able to put this into split screen mode. I can even down here in the lower corner, if I choose to go into three separate zones, now that's going to give me uh, zone one over here, zone two in the middle, and then zone three with that. So again, I can have two zones, I can have up to three zones if I choose to with that. To close out this little uh, circle with the arrow, if I just go ahead and clear out those contents, it's gonna clear that out and just dump me back into that SWrite software. Also on this four box option, I have patterns. So if I wanna go ahead and bring a pattern in and maybe work on some content like that, I'll select a triangle if I choose to, uh, and then maybe I can go back to my pattern features and choose a, a square to be able to place that. Uh, on there and then in order to get off of that symbol feature if I just go ahead and select my pen tool again Now that's going to kind of deselect that to where now I can maybe create some kind of math problems or anything like that Using those random shapes that I have I can also go in and change background settings So again, I can choose background settings and choose a different color uh, And if I select the arrow that's going to allow me to bring in even some different preset patterns some grid lines maybe a musical staff. And if I choose the picture icon, that's where I can go to my Android side of the panel, be able to upload my own background images, maybe a periodic table, or add your digital white back, white board background directly with that as well. So that's a cool way that I can go ahead and incorporate different kind of background settings on the TouchView panel. Of course, the back arrow and the forward arrow, that's always gonna kind of erase the last thing that I did uh, that I placed on the panel. And then I can also go back and kind of do and redo and undo uh, directly with that also. And then the last thing is our eraser. So if I just wanna kind of quickly clear out my whole entire screen, I can just go ahead and swipe that and it's just gonna give me a fresh new whiteboard to be able to work with. Now maybe I do wanna import a picture, for example. 
So if I go into import pictures, I'm going to go to my images folder here on the Android side of my panel. Uh, and now I'll just go ahead and select this random picture that I have of the front inputs on our panel. So that's going to allow me now to import that picture. I can place that wherever I want to. And then once I want to lock that in, I'm going to select this little check mark up here in the top corner. And now that's going to lock it in. And then I can use my pen tool uh, to be able to mark up and annotate and highlight anything I want to. So that's a great way to bring in any kind of worksheets, spreadsheets, drop those directly into the SWRITE software, and then be able to annotate and mark that up and have that annotation kind of stick and scale with that image. I can also add multiple pages. So over here on the far right hand side, if I hit the plus button, that's going to allow me to add a secondary page. So now I've added maybe page two. So again, if I'm building out a multi-page worksheet or anything like that, uh, I can have different images or different content on each one of these pages. And that's going to allow me to kind of toggle through each one of those uh, pages to be able to have multiple pages kind of creating a flip chart presentation with that also. So of course I do have multiple ways to be able to save content once I go ahead and populate some material up here. Over here in the far uh, left hand corner if I go ahead and select that little QR code symbol that's going to export everything out uh, and save that as an image file so that then I can scan that with my mobile device, a tablet, uh, maybe my iPhone, and just be able to pull that file off really quickly that way. Uh, and then if I choose this little three line ellipsis menu, that's going to allow me to go ahead and import an older S write file if I want to. Uh, I can go ahead and save it. Uh, I've done a video on this already that you can find on our YouTube channel of exactly how to go ahead and save that uh, directly to the Android side. Uh, I can share it by mail. Uh, or I can go ahead and upload it to my cloud storage. So I can go in and just give this a unique file name. So I'll just go ahead and name this uh, demo, for example. And if I save this, I have an option of uploading all current pages or just a single page. So remember, we added three different pages to this. So keep in mind, if you want to upload the whole entire contents in all those pages, you're going to need to make that selection of uploading just the current page or uploading all pages. The other option that you have is to save this as an IWB file. Now, what is that? That's an interactive whiteboard file. That's going to allow you to reopen this SWRITE file later and amend it and add more content to it if you want to. If I save it as just a regular flattened PNG image, uh, it's just going to save it as an image file and not let me amend it or update it with any content like that. So I'm going to save it as an IWB file. And if I go ahead and click OK, that's going to allow me now to go ahead and save that directly to my Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive account. If I want to save it to my Google Drive account, I can just go ahead and then log into my Google Drive account and be able to save that directly to my account that way as well. So just an extra step there once you choose that to go ahead and log into your account so it knows where to save it. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, very easy to use, very simple. Just use this toolbar, navigate through there, and be able to create some really compelling content with our SWRITE whiteboarding software.